As of this recording, it is the second week of April 2024. During the last week of March, I took the leap and decided to take the TensorFlow Developer Certification. I was shocked when I saw that there was a notice saying that the last day to purchase the exam is April 30, 2024, and the last day to take the exam was May 31, 2024. So I decided to take my first try as soon as possible as there is a clause saying that if I do not pass on my first attempt, I have to wait 14 days before I can retake the exam. I was thinking to myself, if I failed my first try, at least I have sufficient time to apply for my second try. Thus, I decided to take the exam in the second week of April. I ended up preparing and passed the exam in two and half weeks. In this video, I will share with you five key points that are vital for my preparation of the exam. Before I share with you how I did it, let me briefly explain what the TensorFlow Developer Certificate is. It is a level certificate exam that tests a developer's foundational knowledge of integrating machine learning into tools and applications. It tests students in their ability to solve problems by building models using TensorFlow 2.x. It costs 100 US dollars for one exam attempt, and the exam has a time limit of 5 hours to complete. You may use whatever learning resources you would normally use during your ML development work. Do note that the certificate is valid for 3 years from when you receive your digital badge. This information is freely available in the candidate's handbook, which brings me to my first point. To go through the candidate handbook and understand the requirements. I would highly recommend going through the candidate's handbook as it contains a lot of important information. Scroll through the skills checklist to find out what the learning objectives they expect you to fulfill for this exam. From it, you can glean insights to what to expect during the examination. The second point is to find course materials and start studying. For me, I picked the Deep Learning AI TensorFlow Developer Professional Certificate course from Coursera. It helped that I had some basic prior background knowledge in machine learning, and I was able to finish the course within the free trial week. You don't necessarily have to follow me in choosing this course, but you can do any other courses which you are comfortable with. Apart from this, I suggest you review some of the examples available on the TensorFlow website as well. The website has some example codes under the tutorial section which I would recommend to check them out. Follow along the codes provided as well and I guarantee you that it will improve your basic understanding of it. The third point is to do coding practices. After you have some understanding of how to build a machine learning model, start practicing on your own. Find your own datasets and build your own models to classify and work through each problem type of image classification, natural language processing and time series sequences. Only by working on an actual model Will you realize what are some of the things which you initially thought you knew, but turns out you might need some revision on? For myself, I coded three different models, one on binary image classification, another on multi-class image classification and the last on text prediction. I have recorded videos on them and you may find the links to them in the description box below. Yes, I know that I mentioned working through each problem and I did not work on a time series sequence model even though I found it to be the hardest because I was working on a tight timeline and I wanted to sit for the exam as soon as possible. Also it was because I understood the basic flow to building machine learning models. Which brings me to point number 4. Understanding the process flow of building a machine learning model. There is a water flow logic to building a machine learning model which is consistent through image classification, text classification, or prediction and time series prediction. You always start with loading your dataset, inspecting it to understand its shape, and you pre-process it. Next you build the model. You can always apply convolutions or pooling along with a few layers to build a basic model, and compile it with the appropriate optimizers and loss functions. Next comes the boring part of sitting and waiting while the model trains and repeats till the objective is met, be it meeting an accuracy threshold or a mean absolute error floor. This flow is consistent across the problems and though the form might be different, the underlying idea and concept is. The last point is to use AI LLMs such as ChatGPT or Gemini to speed up your learning process. 
If you find yourself overwhelmed when using Google Search or Stack Overflow to search for your answer, ask ChatGPT or Gemini. Their answers might not be 100% accurate or updated, but it can help to explain things in simpler terms or narrow down your search filter for an answer. You can ask it to code a simple model and explain each line to you as well. Try it. At the end of the day, the exam is testing your basic understanding of TensorFlow. Whatever we need to prepare for the exam is just scratching the surface of what TensorFlow and machine learning can do. If you are preparing to sit for the exam, all the best to you and believe in yourself. You can do it. I recorded this to show that even though the certificate is closing soon, it is still possible to prepare and pass it within a short period of time. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully, it will inspire you on your own journey as well. So, what are your thoughts on it? Feel free to comment in the comment box down below. If you liked this video and would like to see more content of this nature, please be sure to like and subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time.